Okay. Hello guys. Uh, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time. And uh, today we're looking at the Pixies and um, I've shown, I've gone through a couple of things already. Um, I say start start low, start, start simple and we grow big, okay? Uh, first of all, this top handle, we'll take it off. We'll take off the monitor. Let's take off the monitor, take off everything. You've seen that. We've shown you that you could start with the HDMI and get your um, and get your picture from there. You don't need the SDI, even though I started with the SDI before I figured out this works. Um, so the SDI, I had to use two transmitters. If you need to use an SDI because you have an SDI, connect directly to an SDI, that's fine. But if you have an HDMI cable, I use my SDI setup because this I had this uh, before I figured this one out. And um, it worked all right, but it was too much hanging around. I did everything I needed to do and so should you just while waiting for the Pix6 monitor. You probably want to do use what you have already. If you already have gears, like I have a mod, I have multiples and uh, um, monitors and and stuff. I even have the SDI one, um, which is the uh, Blackmagic Focus Assist. I can't find this thing. Okay, since we moved from California to Indiana, I just couldn't find my um, Blackmagic 12K 12G Focus Assist monitor. So hopefully I still find it. But for now, I, I had to make use of uh, this one from Best View. Okay, Best View or Desk View. Uh, I really like that monitor. You know why? It, it looks like a five inch monitor. It's just the screen is exactly the size of the body. It's got anamorphic, it got um, exposure tools and affordable, okay? Put the, I'll put the links in the description. You go check it on Amazon and figure it out. You, you'll see that it's a good option, okay? There might be better option there, but maybe more expensive, but this is just perfect. You can rock it with any of your HDMI cameras, and I think that's one of the best affordable ones. Okay, now, uh, let's take that up. Now, for this top handle, while it's a good start, I couldn't find the one that fits perfectly. I think I've used one of this, something like this for my Ursa, when they also just came while I was figuring that out so as well, I got something like this to just start. So this is also for also 12K or also also Mini Pro. This the 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 rig the body is just like the Ursa, you know, in terms of the uh, placement of the um, threads, the holes. So um, this thing fits right in, but not exactly. When I got this one. It could not, it couldn't fit exactly just to have more than one. So I could only get one screw to work. Um, but thanks to this um, little box here that I got on Amazon, it has almost extras of everything and different sizes. So I was able to get one of these and I'll put this in the description. Okay, so now you know this plate. It's got the, the three eighths and the one quarter. Uh, stuff. It's got um, different sizes of them. It's got different screws. The ones with uh, the Allen key screw and the ones with a uh, screwdriver. It's got multiple sizes options. Okay, so I got one of those and I was able to tighten it and was able to fit in. Uh, on the top, if you can see the rig top, it didn't even go flush, you know, um, all the way because it's a longer screw. But however, it held the job, it got the job down. So um, just to give you an idea of what you could do from what you already have, okay? So um, otherwise you could go with this for a permanent setup because why waste money, right? If this works, why waste money? If you're not crazy about how your rig looks, which is not gonna look bad though, it's still not gonna look bad. It's just not as flamboyant, okay? All right, so, uh, but if you're just trying to shoot, um, I had to get this before I started turning on the camera. I just I just couldn't start do 
doing anything, taking it around. So when I got this, I started taking it around. Now I'm waiting for other parts to come. Some are beginning to come in, but they're not complete. I can set it up because they're not complete. You see this top handle, uh, side handle from, um, from Condor Blue as well. There's a lot of Condor Blue parts here. This, this rail is Condor Blue. I have had it since I had the 6K Pro. It went over to the Ursa 12K and um, it's still here serving me, okay? Very lovely. I can move the camera back and forth. You know? And which is helpful depending on what you want to shoot and what you're trying to achieve. Let's take this guy off. I want to show you the next setup. Now does it so now we got this nine millimeter one from Smurry. Okay. And that's that one we're gonna put in now. This will be just to be simpler. This is gonna be a lot simpler and more effective. Okay. So we're gonna go on this and and get this on it. Push it on. Slide it in. This is a very nice, simple, but nice. In fact, I will say this first. This is the simplest. This is probably the simplest and the cheapest. But this is definitely one of the ways to start. Um, this is about 13 bucks or 14 bucks, and this is about um, 25. And the other one is something like 30, 29 something like that but this works better without trying to you know yep so you see <laughs> nice now it's really fun to hold okay now let's uh, I mean this way we, we are ready I can take this off Let's see. Nothing is on. I can turn this off. Move this backwards because that's a swing, swing VMAT plate. I take the power off. Then I go get uh, I go get our battery back and put it on just so we see how it looks. And we'll take this guy off. Yeah. So we'll slide this guy out. Easy to, to get out. Yeah, the only thing is uh, it won't be sturdy. It, it, it can't sit on this thing. I'm going to figure out something to, to keep it uh, stable so I can lay it down. But for now, we got to hold it. See this handle? You could grab it by this handle. If you don't like top handles, this this works as well. See that? You could grab it by this. Um, first of all, I had to get um, a rosette from a eight scene, eight scene. I did you see this cage? I took this part off. I haven't put a plate here yet. My plate is coming. I took the one that was there out and put this um, rosette on the on the um, three eighths here and mounted this guy on the rosette. Now this top button is there, but it wasn't exactly designed for this camera. Really, I don't care. All those black magic um, handles, the black pocket 4K, all those and 6K, all those handles that you could, um, from Tilter and some other companies that you could start recording with the handle, those handles can work with this one. So that's a good thing. All right, but for this one, I just needed something to hold, and uh, yeah, this is this was available and it works to mount in here. It's got mounting spot uh, here. This is uh, um, cold shoe, and then two mounting spots, which is which is good. You know, even here it's still got something. You can mount something even here. Okay, don't complicate it. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple, all right? Let's go one more step. You see this? So, this arm, I'm sure you must have seen this. Okay, it's connected with a, with a NATO 
rail um, adapter is connected to a native rail adapter to a small rig start stop uh, st um, what is it called and the plate you see here this is from Condor Blue it is the top plate made specifically for the Pixies I've only got, I only got one one piece yet um, what's it called B and H is not shipping right now till the weekend is over and then um, the other parts are on pre-order you know so there wasn't much time to figure out what to get so I got this I was able to find one piece and got it and um, yeah more coming I'll just take off the cable take off the cable and uh, proceed with this one I really don't care about it working I just want my hand there so we'll work with that um, so let's take this off but the, the, the point I'm trying to make is with less than 50 bucks you can have your your rig ready to shoot in terms of um, top handle ready to hold and play around with hopefully you have some some gear lying around with my battery set up you know rail do use what you can what you got and then you know take your time take your time to rig this thing up all right most of the people you see online rigging their stuff they were sent they are big youtubers and we are sent the product for free so um while others are while we're trying to to get it from amazon or bnh they were getting it in the mail for free so don't try to be you know don't try to compete with them just go at your own pace get what you can for now when you now make a decision because people are actually buying a lot of stuff some of the rigs that people are buying because they see the influencers they will have to throw away when the pixels come because you'll find out that it just can't stay together like how, is it, how are you going to mount it you know it's going to be compatible with some some will work out but some won't so don't buy now don't buy anything major now use what you got or use what is cheap what's affordable like what i just showed you this sensor is uh well watch out for my review i don't want to talk too much watch out for my full review i am definitely doing a full review okay let's slide it out You can, you can rock with the SDMI setup like this. And you could, you could, you could um, do um, some um, Vecro. You could Mundo, Mundo tie it, whatever works. If this, if they got the screw. Yeah, I think we have a screw here that you could Mundo tie it over here. The problem is when this monitor comes, we don't know how we can mount it yet. Hopefully, it can stay on this same point, but if it doesn't, all this stuff will go away. Unless you would just have to ignore the, the monitor to keep your rig looking, you know, or save your money from being lost, so you stick, stick with the top handle with another monitor. That would be sad, right? Because that monitor's got camera control. You can't beat that. All right, so... That's my little run for now. Yep, this is good. Okay, get your HDMI. Yep, simple setup. Keep it simple, guys. Keep it simple. All the parts for this will be in the description. There will be a part two for this video with a, with more rigs coming in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.